Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel and today we're back in the cash game streets playing some 2-5 with a $500 buy-in. Here we open the button, ace, jack, big blind defense, we flop top pair, top kicker. See the raise here, I don't think we want to be through betting the flop, I think it'd be a little bit of an overplay, but we're definitely not folding, so we'll flat here. Uh, queen on the turn, so it does bring an over card. Um, so we do have to worry about some even some queen jack potentially they could check raise a jack um, flush draw as well um, But once they check here, I think we need to check as well and hope for no club or king on the river Get the deuce heart seems pretty solid to me Goes bigger. Um, I think we can call this here as played And we are good versus nine high Open the button here get three bets go ahead and call this one in position six five suited Flop the open and straight draw in 10 4 3. Small bets. I'm um, thinking about between raising and calling, we'll just call. See the 9 here on the turn. Check, we'll bet now. See the call. King on the river. Um, interesting here if I want to bluff or not. Oh, this is close. Eh, six high, I think we're going to go for it. They're going to have a decent amount of king x in the range, like ace, king high, that could continue, king, queen high, that could play this line as well. Uh, but we do get the fold of six high, which is always good. Open cut off with queen jack, get a bunch of calls here. And a flop two pair, interesting board though, king, queen jack. Uh, this many ways... I am going to bet. I think there's actually even some merit for checking here. But we decide on a bet. We call by a small blind and get the bad news on the turn. Ace on the turn. And now it leads off our pot. I think we're just going to find a fold. Cut off open with three bet button. King ton suited. See the call, flop top pair here, king, queen, six, two clubs. Besides the lead into us here, very interesting. Um, let's see, I think we call here, then go with any non-club turn, or do we just jam it on him here with a lot of equity? Denial. This is kind of awkward. I'm going to call here, and then probably go with any non-club. This is a good card here. Once they check, though, we'll be betting not all in. Would have to call if they go with the check jam line. And if we see a call, just no club, please. Although I wouldn't expect them to go check call with the club draw. They'd probably bet turn with that. And we just see a fold. I jack open with three bet queens, get snap called here. King six a deuce. Um, I think versus this particular point, I'm going to find some checks from time to time. We'll do it here. Eight on the turn. Our specific hand plays well as a check, even though we're we'll betting the board at a pretty high frequency range wise. Uh, best half pot will call, and we'll probably call rivers as well. Um, I guess not perfect that the backdoor hearts come in, but again, I'm getting the impression this person's going to blast off once I show weakness, so we'll call getting three to one. Would prefer to have the queen of hearts here, but we'll make a call. And we're good versus the five high. Cut off open with three bet button. Small blind cold calls. Also get a call from the cutoff. Uh, three ways here. We're going to bet the eights on five four deuce. Get two calls here. King on the turn. Um, so this is kind of an interesting spot if I want to turn my eights into a bluff at this point. I think we're going to, and we're going to run this here assuming there's no club on the river. And there's no four either, like the ace completing. So I don't think we're going to see a lot of ace-king necessarily. Ten on the river. Um... Yeah, we're going to go for this massive bluff here, turning our eights into a bluff first, this cold caller. Please don't have ace-king. Please fold. 
Don't get a snap fold, which isn't great, because I was hoping to have some club combos. And I get called. He has Ace King. Oh, not going to get him to fold that. We bluff it off with the eights there. Let me know what you guys think. Um, cold calling range, definitely going to have some Ace King in there. It makes sense to call the flop and then the turn. Um, I don't know. Could go either way on it. You guys let me know what you think. Maybe unnecessary to turn the eights into the bluff. I think we're getting a fold from everything that's not Ace King or better there. Those are my general thoughts. But I guess when they call that turn there, and then even on the river, if they have his clubs, where some showdown with eights. Yeah, I don't know. That might have been really bad. You guys can let me know what you think. It may have been really bad and really unnecessary. Open sevens here get called in two spots. Flop a set, 754. Player leads out here. Um, I think on this board we have to be raising. So we'll do that here. Get snap called. Ace of spades on the turn. So even though we have a set, I think we have to check when the flush completes. That's going to be something they can have a lot of. So we have to do some pot control. Hopefully the board pair isn't definitely open for no spade. Um, see the 10 on the river. And once they check, I think we can go for value. Don't think they're going to check as flush here. And see a fold. Uh, just pretty easy to defend here in the big line. Six is multi-way. Oh, what a time to hit a set. Queen at 10, 6. We hit the bottom set. Go ahead and check. Setting up a check raise if anybody bets. Unfortunately, nobody bites here. Uh, king turn. Uh, so the question is, do we set up a check raise again on the turn, or we just start betting? Now, I think against as many people, I'm just going to start betting myself. Min click raises it. Um, it's kind of an awkward line. I think we're going to call and then lead river actually with against just the min click. Assuming it's not a club river. Ooh. Actually, now we're going to set up a... Can we check GM this full house? All right, we're going to check and let's see what this brings on the river from our opponent. I think we can check raise. So I guess pre-flop, I don't think they have kings, tens, queens full. Um, definitely can raise this sizing here. If we raise and get jammed on, it's going to be so gross. But I do think I want to go for value here against this size, like trying to target like some club holdings. Opponent calls and our full house is good. We get a nice little extra 200 with our river raise. Good against ace jacks, so they turn the straight there. Small blind limp, go ahead and raise big blind with jacks. Say a pretty quick call. Ace high flop here, ace eight five, we'll bet. Get the call, three clubs on the turn. Going to be a check, assuming they check. Interesting enough, see a small lead here. Um, I'm going to be tempted to call here and call a lot of rivers that miss like the draws because it feels like they're maybe trying to price themselves into a good price um, here. So king of clubs river. So backdoor clubs come in. Um, bluffs that don't or draws that don't get there would be hearts or seven six. And we're just going to check this down and hope we win a showdown. And we are good versus the pair of eights. All right, and that's going to cap off a short two-hour cash game session here. So we played a mix of 2-5 and 1-2, and in the 2-5 game played 460 hands. We had a profit of 642. In the 1-2, 395 hands, a loss 190. Total profit on the day at plus 452. Um, big hand of the day was that pocket eights we ran the triple barrel bluff on, uh, and we ended up getting called down. Um, I think the turn bet was okay. I think the river bet was pretty bad, um, but I'd be really curious for some feedback what your guys' thoughts are on that bluff there. Was it an okay bluff or was at a complete punt. Um, so if you guys are watching the vlog on YouTube today, enjoyed the video, please be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm currently posting a new poker vlog five days a week, every Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you ever want to catch our live streams on Twitch, be sure to check out the schedule tab as I update that every Monday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with the schedule for the upcoming week.